and I could pull out all the stats, the advanced metrics on on how great you are at scooping slash digging baseballs over at first base. Um, but but I think honestly, just the eye test tells it best. If you watch games in the last couple seasons, we all know how good you are at that skill specifically. But it's it's so unique. I don't even know how you practice that, how you work on it. If you were to if you were to coach, let's say, a high school first baseman on that technique, where would you even start? Oh, um, I think to start, uh, you have to be in a in a solid position. Um, your base is going to allow you to have the freedom with your hands um, in order to, you know, truly decide whether you want to go attack the ball or, or kind of let it come to you and create a long hop and backing off that. I think, uh, you know, other than that, uh, realizing what kind of a hop you're getting is, is the number one most important thing. Um, you know, you got to, and you just kind of, by quantity, uh, figure out how to play these things, but, um, you know, figuring out whether to, to stretch out and, you know, go try to attack and, and get a short hop or, you know, maybe not stretch out as far and catch it a little further back in your stance to play it as a long hop. Um, you know, pretty much you're trying to eliminate that in between where, you know, you get, get a little stuck, a little handcuffed and, um, don't know what to do. It's, it's generally better when, you're able to pick it right off the ground on that short hop. And, uh, I, that's the way I prefer it. I like to, you know, attack it and, and really work through the ball. There's kind of that no man's land. I think you're talking about, Hey, if you ever need anybody to give you bad throws, I'll probably do it best from second base. <laughs> I got a weak arm, but I could give you bad throws all day long. I'll throw them in the dirt. Uh, no problem. Perfect. When we get back rolling, I'll, I'll call you out for some early work. <laughs> <laughs> 